How effective is boxing in a real street fight? Boxing is one of the oldest martial arts in the world. The majority of defense and armies in the world are trained in boxing. Now the question comes, how effective is boxing in terms of self-defense? It is very effective. Learning boxing will pretty much save you from 95% uh, of attacks or attackers in the street. People who engage in violence uh, usually in the street has uh, little to no self-defense or martial arts skills. I can um, confidently say that uh, because an individual with martial art knowledge and skills knows the harmful effect of engaging in violence in the street. There are some moral codes embedded in every martial arts. The knowledge of violence makes you intelligent enough not to pursue it. Therefore, I can say the ones engaging in violence have little to no knowledge about it. Now, let's talk about the effectiveness of boxing in terms of self-defense. In the eye of a novice, boxing is just punching and everyone can uh, throw a punch. Uh, however, boxing is far more than this. Although anyone can throw a punch, very few knows how to throw a proper punch, which will ensure success. And boxing teaches you that. Now, I will uh, bring some points why boxing is very effective for self-defense. First of all, flexibility. Our hands are most flexible part of our body yes we can throw up throw a punch and uh, also use takedowns um, but how however the speed of a punch won't be same as as a speed of our kick because our legs are heavier than our hands uh, second of all defensive techniques the defensive or the defense uh, that are being taught in boxing perfectly syncs with street uh, self-defense situations. No martial art have uh, so many defensive techniques such as box boxing. There is a boxing techniques uh, or I ca can say a sub technique of boxing known as a 52 blocks that purely focuses on various defensive blocks and there are 52 of them. Knowing proper blocks, parry, roll and slipping can uh, de uh, um, defend you from more or less any kind of hand-to-hand -hand attacks. And this makes boxing a perfect martial art for street self-defense. The number three, uh, I option i will bring is sparring sparring increases confidence sparring is one of the most uh, one of the most important part of boxing boxing training heavily includes sparring tra training in sparring you have to constant constantly defend yourself from punches also land punches at the same time this provides a similar fighting test and experience which will develop confidence in you most of the attackers are not aware or never spurred in their whole life and anyone who is slightly trained in boxing can easily defend some street thugs um, number four point i want to bring is most attackers uh, in the street will start with a punch there are the majority of uh, street attacker you will see will begin their aggression with throwing a punch at you throwing a punch is a natural instinct instinct of human someone with previous boxing training can easily counter and defend sloppy punches punches from untrained street thugs that gives you advantage also not only not uh, also not to be the one who attacks first because you know you can defend yourself from any aggressive attacker uh, number 
the, the fifth point I want to bring is boxing is the safest option in the street. Boxing is the safest attacking method in the street. Even though I am well trained and well versed in Muay Thai and kickboxing, I personally prefer boxing in any kind of street self-defense situation. Kicking in the street involves lots of risk. I, a simple mistake can compromise your balance and it is a big no-no to falling, da falling down during a street fight. A good soccer kick can knock your lights out if you fall. For this, you have to be on your feet, maintain your balance and boxing teaches you that. Um, the sixth point I want to bring is effective against multiple attackers boxing not only teaches you how to punch also boxers go through hard conditioning which provides them skills of maintaining their power and energy and implement it in the right moment your attackers in the street do not know that even if you face multiple attackers you can be sure they will exhaust pretty quickly boxers are durable and easily defend sloppy punches as a boxer, this gives you advantage as they lose their energy and you can easily topple them with basic punching combinations. As a martial art, boxing is easy, not easy to learn. Though it seems easy to learn, it is one of the most complex of all martial arts. However, if you want to learn boxing only for self-defense, not to perform in the ring, you can learn the basic and the fundamentals of boxing in a very short period of time. I won't tell you it is easy, which will be a lie, but if you want to put your effort and want to learn the, the swift science, I can guarantee this will be worth your time and money. Now, the question comes, will a boxer have an advantage over a kickboxer or a MMA practitioner? My answer will be no. Um, they, they are going to have advanced tools and multiple tools uh, which in their arsenal which a boxer can defend uh, in terms of other martial arts like Krav Maga and other um, martial arts I think boxing is superior than them um, a boxer of the same level as other martial art practitioner can easily defend them but you are not going to face Khabib Nurmagomedov in a street fight. You are fighting low-level thugs. And learning the fundamentals of boxing can easily help, help you to defend yourself from them.